Hey guys, Mike from Nerd Problems Gaming here and welcome to Nerd Problems Gaming, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, we're doing a review of Assault Android Cactus. Is it fun? Is it worth it? Stay tuned. So this is kind of a unique game. Uh, it's hard to say. <laughs> Assault Android Cactus. Uh, it's a weird name, but definitely a fun game. And so this game is actually in the style of basically a twin stick shooter. And so if you're not really familiar with what that means, um, basically one joystick is going to move your character around on the screen, and then the other is going to be used to basically aim your weapons, aim your guns at enemies and monsters that are coming after you all over the place. And so really the first game that I ever played of this style uh, was Smash TV. And so that was on the NES, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's crazy you play as basically um, two guys that are on a game show where it's like fight to the death, people coming after you and you win prizes, big prizes, big money, right? So, um, you know, that's kind of where I first was introduced to this type of gameplay, this genre. And so when I saw this game uh, a while back, it was one of the games with gold uh, for the month. And so I figured I'd pick it up, try it out. I guess I didn't really realize it was like Smash TV until I got it and started playing it, but it, it's definitely a lot of fun. So basically, um, you know, if I want to go into the story, I don't think I really can. <laughs> you know, it's not a very extensive storyline with this game, and that is definitely not what pulled me into this game. Um, you know, I could tell you that it's uh, maybe good robots versus bad robots. Uh, I just really found myself skipping through the story as I was playing. I didn't really care. Um, and, you know, you don't really need a story for this type of game to actually be fun. And so, there's actually a lot of different modes with this game. There's kind of the campaign story mode that you can play as. Um, there's like an infinite mode where you can just play forever, basically, and get as far as you can get. And then there's a, a daily mode as well, which is pretty similar to the infinite mode uh, that you have. But basically, you'll go through and play through various stages. So if you're going through like the campaign mode, uh, each stage is going to be the same every time, like each different level that you go through, and they get more difficult as you play through the stages and then after you go through all the areas in the stage you actually fight like a boss and that's kind of my favorite part is actually fighting the boss um, there's a lot of uh, difficulty with that so you're gonna have to switch up your strategy as you play so the campaign is definitely fun to play through like I said though the story is pretty weak so if you're looking for an intense story driven game this is not the game for you but if you're kind of looking for some mindless um, blowing stuff up action this is probably a lot of fun uh, and you're going to like this game. And so as you play, uh, there's a bunch of different androids that you can play as and each one really has their own unique skills and abilities. And so each person has a main weapon and a sub weapon and for each android that you pick they're different and so that's pretty cool you can really switch up your play style and how you play i always found myself uh being i believe it's holly uh she kind of has like a homing gun that you shoot um and then i guess a, a bigger bomb that she throws out i never really honestly use that one but um the homing one is really cool and so what's neat though is as you play through the levels and you destroy the bad robots you're going to get uh power-ups that kind of fill up your gun meter and so as it levels up and hits the maximum it gets more powerful as you play and so on top of that which is cool there's kind of um, additional bonus power-ups that appear on the stage as you're playing and then there's three kinds of those so there's like a speed boost one um, a power up one so basically like two extra robots come up alongside of you and shoot lasers and then there's also kind of like a time freeze one which is going to actually shut down and pause the other bad robots that are running around and so that stuff Definitely cool and it can integrate to how you're playing so uh, they can stack on top of each other which is pretty fun so you could get a speed boost and a power boost and run around the screen all crazy uh, and shooting all kinds of weapons everywhere and that's one thing that I really like about this game is that the screen just gets overflowed with monsters with bullets coming at you you shooting everywhere you get the speed power up you're running around like crazy so there's a lot of intensity uh, going on when you play this game which makes it a lot of fun now, thing that I really like about this game is that it has the offline 
online uh, multiplayer that you can play. And so that's a lot of fun. I played that with my girlfriend and her brother. So we're all kind of going at once. Um, you can play up to four players playing, which is a lot of fun. So things definitely get crazy when that's going on um, because there's just monsters everywhere and you're shooting all over the place, running all over. And so you're using just peripheral vision all over the place, seeing monsters and, and other bad robots running around. So that's a lot of fun to be able to do that um you know again like i said it's not story driven um you're not gonna do a lot of uh in-depth thinking when you play this game so it's just kind of a, a mindless fun game as you play with it so game you know it's not a full budget title that you're gonna pay for um right now for example it's 15 bucks to pick up on xbox one uh when i saw it there and so not a huge you know, investment if you're going to buy this game. So I think if you like that twin stick shooter style, you like playing games like Smash TV and other ones that's similar, um, you're looking for some mindless fun and a cheap game, you know, this is definitely one to pick up and add to your nerd library. But if you're looking for an intense story, something that's going to move you, not the game for you. Um, so maybe don't pick it up at that point. But I, I recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's rated very well uh, across the internet. So um, that's another bonus as well. But if you're looking for a fun, unique shooter game, uh, this game is a lot of fun. Again, Assault Android Cactus, worth picking up. But let me know in the comments below. Do you like this game? Have you played it before? Did you ever play the old school Smash TV like I was talking about? If you like that game, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd uh, love to chat with you more about that. But then also be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video as it really helps out the channel as well. And if you haven't done so, again, subscribe and turn on those notifications to get the latest updates of new videos on everything nerdy uh, to make sure you can spend your time on the best of the best. But if you'd like to also help us support the channel, help us get out content and more, even faster, uh, consider becoming a patron of ours over at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. Again, that's nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And then again, if you'd like to follow us on our Let's Plays and our live streams that we do here for the channel, uh, follow us over at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. Again, that's nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you guys more soon.